another Ants on a Rock video. Welcome to the Ant Corner. Hey there guys and girls, thanks for coming back and joining me for another Ants on a Rock review. Today we're going to look at Ants in Floodwaters, Warning Water Hazard by Bob Hansler. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Before we get started, I just want to say that Solenopsis invicta and Solenopsis geminata are not ant species that I would recommend keeping. Even to an experienced ant keeper, they can pose quite a challenge. They grow at a really, really fast rate and they do require quite a lot of care and attention, i.e. barrier maintenance and things like that. They also require a constant growth in their setup. So you need to be able to provide larger and larger spaces for them, which is just not suitable really. So let's be honest, let's stay away from Solenopsis invicta and Solenopsis geminata and just leave them to invade America apparently at the moment and probably the rest of the world fairly soon. Um, anyways, let's get on with this video. It's just a short one, so let's just have a little look at what they're doing floating about. I've heard about this and I wanted to see it properly. Like he's going up to it in a canoe. Like there's his dog and he's just casually going up to it in a canoe. Solenopsis, Invicta and Geminata, I believe, can both do this. Probably quite a few more ant species as well. They form their like bivouac thing and just float down the water. It's, it's really impressive. Just wait and see. All right, check out this mass. It's one of the largest ones I've ever seen. That looks like debris right there. Wow. That is tens of thousands of fire ants. I don't want my boat to touch it, but I want y'all to be able to see what this is. Now, if you were swimming into that or you touched onto it, you'd be in trouble. But this is how. Like he says, you imagine swimming into that big ball of ants, fire ants as well. That would be absolutely horrible. Oh, oh dear. These guys move and they don't really die in floods. They just make giant, writhing, floating mats. And they're horrible. It would be interesting to know if they do it in like a certain shape that will float in a certain way or if they can control the direction that they're going to float. It would be interesting just to do further research into that. It's not something that I know a lot about. I just... I don't know a lot about Solenopsis Invicta and Geminata because I don't have an interest in keeping them. I've never researched thoroughly into their behaviours and things like that. But something like this is really interesting how they can float on water, all stay alive and happy and meh 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 meh. I think that's really worth having a look at, see if they can control where they're going and see what actual control I like, say they've got over the, con the colony. Hundreds, that's hundreds of thousands of uh, fire ants right there. That is a mess of hurt. So they will sting you, they will continue to bite you rather. And uh, that's gonna cause whelps. Within within 24 hours they become uh, pus pockets. Look at that, the loads of wings and rates And they are well. extremely hateful little creatures. So they many ants from Africa, there, that's ridiculous. And they are now so a permit from like the of the Wow. We're gonna leave that one alone. Someday I hope some fish is good enough, or brave enough, or strong enough to be able to reach up there and eat a couple gobblefuls of that. But nothing seems to phase the fire ant from when he's out here. Right, that's pretty much the end of the video. That's absolutely insane. Right, wow. I. <laughs> That's a lot of ants. Well, so the Noxus Invicta and so the Noxus Geminata fire ants, as we know, just explode in numbers. So that's kind of expected. But wow, watching them actually floating on the water surface like that. Really impressive. And like I say, having those winged elates walking about on top, that's probably to keep their wings from getting wet, which would probably ruin them, making their entire life null and void. Really impressive. I enjoyed that video, even though it was only a short one. Hope you all enjoyed that video. 
And as always for me, I'll see you again soon, Ant fans.